People are saying that Connor, you know, objectively got manhandled by uh, Khabib. Some are saying that a rematch might take place. Do you think his performance deserves a rematch? Um, honestly, I, um, I was in a plane flying from Australia. I didn't actually watch the fight. I watched the aftermath of the fight and the build up to the fight. And, um, you know, it's, I understand promoting fights and having to sell them. I really do. Uh, but I've also, the, and, and I understand like you gotta do what you gotta do to make sure you know, you're promoting something. I, I get it, but I don't think people have to get arrested in order to do that, you know? Sure. I think I've been able to, to prove that um, you can make a fight exciting and make people really wanna see it without crossing any legal lines. And um, yeah, I just, I just glad both guys are healthy, and I'm glad it was a great match. I'm kind of sorry it's been soured by the aftermath. I feel like their performance, their performances aren't going to get enough credit because of what happened, and um, I just really hope it doesn't become an ongoing trend. You know, I want, I want people to feel safe bringing their kids to fights and, and things like that. And um, and yeah, I just. I hope that this isn't an ongoing trend and just a, a single occurrence. There's, there's a lot of speculation about, you know, because Khabib left the octagon, that he should be punished. Do you think that he should be punished, his personal opinion? Uh, draw the line somewhere kind of thing? I think if you're going to draw the line there, you should have drawn it before that, you know? Like, I think that Khabib jumping out of the octagon was not as bad as you know throwing objects at a bus because you know my friend Rose Namajunas was on that bus sure. my friend Mike Chiesa missed his fight because he got cut he got cut right it was Mike mm -hmm. you know so um, I just feel like there has to be equal treatment all the way across the board I, I don't think that anyone should get special treatment because they're a bigger draw I think that's the same when it comes to performance enhancing drugs when it comes to felonies, when it comes if you're to hit and runs or anything like that, you know, I think um, there's too much preferential treatment given to the high profile fighters. And I think that there needs to be like equal discipline across the board, no matter who you are, because people are going to start thinking once they get to a certain level that the rules don't apply to them. I would be much more strict about everything. I'd say get proper steroids once you're banned for life, you know, but then again, I, I'm not the promoter of a multi-million dollar organization. Fair. It's just you have to think about, you know, from their perspective, when is it not worth it anymore, you know? And it's, I, I, I don't want the company to be prioritizing this quarter over this next 10 years, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they might make more money this quarter because this fight or the next fight did really well, but I don't want it to get to a point where people are not buying tickets to go see fights live because they're afraid of what could happen in the arena. Connor is arguably the biggest name in the UFC. Do you think after this devastating loss he can bounce back from this? Um, like bounce back? Like, like he could probably still be the same just draw. Like in his heart. <laughs> like yeah, in, in in his heart, essentially. Do you think um, that? I think Connor seems he's got a very durable ego. Yeah. You know, so I think he's going to be fine, uh, regardless. Um, Career-wise, you, you never know. You know, um, MMA is a very—it's a tough sport, and you have a very short shelf life, and um, you got to make the best of it while you can. And I just—I just hope guys, the both those guys are healthy and they have great careers ahead of them, and um, and much smoother, <laughs> uh, but much smoother uh, promotions in the future. <laughs> so, would you like to see a rematch? Seeing as you missed the first one, would you like to see I them? I should probably go back and watch. You probably go back one and watch. Yeah. yeah, I need to watch the first one, and then then I'll have an idea about the rematch. And I can't really say. Last thing, would you ever lobby for Connor to come to the WWE? Um, Do you feel like his talents would he, uh, would if, thrive? If Connor really wanted to and like asked me to go lobby for him, yeah. like you know, like it's a friend, yeah, totally. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll speak up for a friend, but um, I wouldn't. It's similar to fighting you know like I would never make somebody fight if they didn't want to or encourage someone to fight if they didn't have that deep desire to do it yeah and it's one of those things you have to have that that deep desire to do it because it's 
it's nothing that you should do just for the money or just because it's there. It's something you need to do because uh, enjoyment you're, and yeah, just because like you're passionate you about, it. about it. I think if you're not passionate, you're going to do a disservice to the industry. Okay.